Good morning, Vineyard family. I'd like to share a devotional with you today from Proverbs 7. I'm going to be reading from the Passion Translation, verses 1 through 5 of chapter 7. Stick close to my instructions, my son, and follow all my advice. If you do what I say, you will live well. Guard your life with my revelation truth, for my teaching is as precious as your eyesight. Treasure my instructions and cherish them within your heart. Say to wisdom, I love you, and to understanding, you are my sweetheart. May the two of you protect me, and may we never be apart. For they will keep you from the adulteress with her smooth words meant to seduce your heart. The rest of this chapter then goes on to tell a tale of a naive young man who follows the harlot out into the street. And at the end of this, it, it says that he was like a dumb ox alongside a butcher. What the father is teaching us in this proverb is really what he teaches us all along, that the key to avoiding temptation is to stay close to him, to listen to his instructions, to, um, to, to be close to the father. When the U.S. Treasury is trying to help its agents understand what a counterfeit looks like, they don't spend their time studying counterfeit dollar bills. What they do is they spend their time looking at what the authentic dollar, dollar looks like and the authentic $20 bill. And as they spend that time knowing what the authentic looks like and really understanding the, the texture, the touch, the sight, everything that, that makes up that, that bill, then they can spot the forgeries. They can spot the ones that aren't quite like that. And that's what the Father is telling us as well. Everything that is good is contained in him. Everything that is good is in him. But we don't need to go outside looking for something else because everything that we want is really, is really within him. And as we get close to him, as we stay connected with him, as we stay in him, then we're not really even going to be tempted by, by, what is, by what is outside. If I offered you a meal of saltine crackers and water, it probably wouldn't be that, that tempting to you because many of you are eating every day like I am. If you hadn't been eating for a couple of weeks and I offered you saltines and water, that might sound really, really wonderful. And so our goal to not be tempted is to make sure that, that we're getting the nourishment that we need to be in, to be in the Father. Because if we are, that doesn't sound very exciting to, to us. And it really wouldn't tempt us very much at all if, if somebody offered you, hey, come on over, I've got saltines and water, isn't that great? Most of us would turn that down very easily. We're not tempted at all because what we have is something so much better. What we have in the Lord is so much better than anything else. The more we spend time with him, the more we spend in him, the less temptation is gonna really matter to us. So that's my prayer for you. Let me pray for all of you this morning. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your goodness. We thank you that in you, um, we have a God who loves us. In, in you, we know who we are. And then in you, we have all good things. We thank you that we don't need to look anywhere else. May we continue to be close to you and may that closeness keep us from temptation. In Jesus' name, amen. Have yourself a very blessed day. In the morning when I rise In the morning when I rise In the morning when I rise Get me Jesus Get me Yeah.
Can have all this world. 